My name is Riley Westerholt. I'm a senior at Waverly High School. And this is Get Off My Lawn. I'm here to set something straight. You see, there's this common misconception that Generation IY is the worst thing to happen to this world since puberty. They say we have no aspirations because we can't afford college. They call us over-medicated and under-educated because expensive medications for imaginary problems means less money for expensive educations. They say apathetic, lazy, because we'd rather call our friends than get out of our cars and ring the doorbell to let them know we're out front. They say shallow, materialistic. They say we're letting our obsession with technology ruin our futures. They say we're too busy looking down at our Instagrams to notice that our world is pulling apart at the seams. They say narcissistic because selfies are a sign of the impending apocalypse. They say they've never seen a generation as unruly as ours. But once upon a time, there was a generation infamous for its laziness. The people were obsessed with their money and what it could buy. They were called the lost generation. This was not my generation. Although the name has been recycled and they say we're unoriginal, this was the 20s. I'm not saying that makes drinking moonshine into oblivion while cruising around in your new Model T Ford any worse than trying to take a selfie while driving. Simply that the judgment of a whole generation should not be based on the characteristics of the few. I'm not saying we're perfect. Does my generation have an obsession with technology? Sure. But look at the amazing things we've done with it thus far. Water bottles that can sterilize water in under two minutes. Ultrasonic canes to see for those who can't. We've even invented biodegradable cup holders, so I'm not quite sure who they're calling apathetic because we have the lowest discrimination rates of any generation ever. We are shaking foundations that haven't been moved in years. We are raising our voices. There won't be any more ignoring the problem or waiting for the next generation to finish the fight. Racism is still a problem. Sexism is still a problem. And although they have their eyes closed and their heads turned away, we aren't forgetting those who've been lost in wars waged on several fronts. We are making a difference. We are protesting against wrongs. We are standing up. We are inspired and inspiring. From our footprints will rise cities that will probably be in environmentally friendly. The people will be happy. The resources will be clean and reusable. The economic wage gap will be a thing of the past and will finally be able to afford college. So please, don't look at us like your grandparents looked at rock and roll or the first biracial couple. Because while I will not guarantee that everyone from my generation is a good person, I can promise that my generation will leave behind something truly great. So just you wait and see. We're only getting started started.